Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Doctor Who. This is season 23. This is the fourth and final part of Mind Warp. So last episode we saw that Perry's still with Brian and they went to go find this weapons cache because they found the people who were the resistance down here and have struck a deal with them to help fight the people that are in charge here. We saw how Crozier was able to do the brain transfer into a body which was a similar species to the one that Syl is and the doctor helped with the operation. We've also saw the doctor eating the green gloop and it seemed to bring himself back to himself very briefly but then he kind of stopped eating it and went back to where the operation had taken place, where the BTU machine is. We've seen how the guy who underwent the operation had complications a couple of times and had to be resuscitated because things didn't go correctly but he seems to now be okay, wondering how long that'll last. He seemed quite offended by the image of Sil as well and he said he felt like like he was dreaming like he'd gone into the sea like how Perry had been tied up and we saw how at the end Brian and Perry were ambushed and shot and I don't know if she's dead or not and the doctor's gonna get the blame for this because he as you know Linda was saying he affected events when he got there and this could be his fault I'm gonna to have to see how this ends let's go is Perry dead no then what was the point of showing that last sequence? His reaction? Simply as further evidence of the Doctor's interference. I thought it was somewhat gratuitous. And highly prejudicial. You won't convict me by using shock tactics. I require nothing so crude, my dear Doctor. I think you do. All that will prove necessary is the truth. Then tell it. So oh, fucking hell. My head feels as though it's been trampled on by the seven-legged charges of coral jam. <laughs> You are fortunate to live. So the mentors can experiment on us. Yeah. Think of it as community service. The body you used to transplant Kib's brain, whose was it? Just a body. Found in the water. Just a body? It's a bit casual, isn't it? The late memories from the person this was. I had no other choice. It's taken me weeks to find one remotely suitable. I still think it might have been better if you'd waited. There wasn't the time. Ever since we came to Thor's Feeder, I've been homesick. Not so much for a, a place, but a... Home. Time. I just want to be back in my own time with people I love. What is that? Oh. Love. Brian. Well, it, it's when you care for someone or something more than yourself, I guess. Mara. More than yourself. Sometimes more than life. <laughs> I care nothing for mine. How can you say that, you carnos? Oh, my planet of Krontep, when we die, our spirit is returned to life. Aww. To be born in a more noble warrior. Me, after my next death, I joined the other kings on the Duna, the home of the gods. I love Brian, man. <laughs> These Alphan brains are all wrong for Kiv. Shall I have him implanted and sent to the work center? Yes, yes, take him to the induction center. Oh. What a pity both you and the Alphan are unsuitable. Hmm? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Most disappointing. Unlike Syl, I would willingly have given up my body. What about your companion, Doctor? Uh, oh, Perry. Ah, oh, a quite unsuitable female. Oh, silly. Oh, flibberty gibbet. Oh, flibberty gibbet. Why not examine her? I think I'll do that. I prefer it if you use somebody else. Mm -hmm. You have strong feelings for the woman. Well, certainly enough not to want to see her experimented upon. I understand. I'm not without pity. Go to the induction centre. Bloody hell, could have you fooled me. the problem I have here, Doctor. If you can find a candidate more suitable, I shall use them. The Doctor. Hurry. You haven't much time. No. Just you, still. I will, my lady. Oh. Thanks, Lord Loxley. He's a gem, isn't he? Who are you? Colleague of Crozier's. A friend. Mm-hmm. She is a most promising candidate. I must arrange for antigen tests. <laughs> of course she is. Well, it's a blood test. Well, I'm not marrying anyone. Ah, spirit, strength. That is good. I shall return. What was that conversation? I want to be privy to that. What are you doing? He has Crozier's permission. My apologies, sir. I didn't realize you were in attendance. No, oh, take no notice of me. You people do. <laughs> I'd quite like a word with that captured king. 
You can't, us. Mm, that's him. I'm sure Crozier wouldn't mind. Open the door, would you? You must be out of your mind. He'll kill you. I don't think so. <laughs> He's probably going to kill you. Cover me. <laughs> Grimwitch! That's quite enough of that. I'm here to help you. You in. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name the last time we met. Dor. Dor. Never mind, you can tell me later. His name is Dorf, and you are scum. No, actually, I am known as the Doctor, and there's no need for you to thank me for helping you to escape. Come along. <laughs> oh my god. You are so perfect, I think I can serve Lord Kiv my finest experiment yet. Oh. Do this my way. I'm having you causing a bloodbath. You think like a warrior, but you do not act like one. It's most perplexing. You stay here and watch out for guards. You might just I love little touches like that. Like, they're just that little pat on the chest. Ah, Doctor. I see that you found your renegade king. Certainly the quietest I have ever seen him. I thought I'd try one of those brain implant things. For one wish fulfilling moment, I thought you were going to kill him. <laughs> I presume you have Crozier's permission. He's going to say yes. I have carte blanche as far as young Crozier is concerned. I shall, of course, have to get confirmation of your carte blanche from Crozier. There! Dear! Be still, old man. Unless you wish your wizard life terminated. Come on now. He's not well, is he? I've decided to attempt direct transference. <gasps> oh! Tell you, Doctor. I somehow knew you'd finish up here. Yeah. Have you seen Perry? I believe she is with Crozier. All is ready. Just wait for Kiv to complete his meeting. Oh my god. This time, you will be successful. I think it's just a bald cap, but even still. What's happening? <laughs> his face, man. It's time we found Perry. Of course! <laughs> Is this where they took him? What happened to Perry? Whatever made you take me out of time when you did? I remember it all. I was on my way to save Perry. Things have gone too far. You had released chaos and allowed... But chaos was the only way to, to win. ...in an experiment that would affect all future life in the universe. I did try to stop it. But you could not succeed, and therefore necessary by the direct order of the High Council... ...to, to remove the consequence you? ...to of Crozier's experiment. Watch, Doctor. Watch and listen carefully. A perfect transfer. I have altered the basis of all future life. Kiv's brain is inside the head of that repulsive earth being. No! This is what I wanted to achieve from the very beginning. I have transferred only the contents of his mind into the brain of the woman. And what of the earth woman's mind? Gone! Mentally, she no longer exists. Oh, no! You can transfer any mind into any body. When the Earth Woman's brain ages, I can transfer the mental energy and consciousness of Lord Kim into yet another body. He need never die. They're caught in a time bubble. Everything must be perfect before they drive home their final attack. You're using Yakarnos as an assassin. It was oh. judged by the High Council as the most acceptable way, and Yakarnos will never know that he was used. What's he going to be so used to do? they it upon themselves to act like second-rate gods. Warm. Not cold. The body is warm. Oh, wonderful. Oh, my God. Toes. Trunk. The neck. Strong. Head. Free of pain. Oh, Colors. Warm blood inside. 
Oh, I like this. Shit. Now I am she, alive, within this oh so wonderful, wonderful frame. <laughs> I thought he was just going to kick it in then. Bye, Sil. Protect me! You killed Perry? We had to act. With the discovery that Crozier had made, the whole course of natural evolution throughout the universe would be affected. But Perry died, Doctor, because you abandoned her. We had to end her life because your negligence had made it impossible for her to live. Lies. There's something else going on here. The High Council has no right to order Perry's or anyone else's death. Please, Doctor. I was taken out of time for another reason. And I have every intention of finding out what it is. I, I can't believe they've actually done this. Like, seeing the Doctor get about to get to Perry and then the Time Lord to pull him away and bring him here and then use Brian as an assassin, as the Doctor said, to then go in, kill Syl, kill the guards, but ultimately kill Perry. I genuinely believe that the Doctor possibly could have got to her in time if the Time Lords hadn't pulled him away, regardless of what they said. And to know that because they did that, she's now dead. I'm actually really angry, more than anything, I think, that they let it happen to her. Oh, I'm going to have to go. I will see you guys later. Thank you.